So life's been challenging to say the least, which is why there haven't been a whole lot of update videos lately, but things are moving along and there's light at the end of the tunnel. I know a lot of you are wondering what's going on with the electric turbo and there's a lot going on with the electric turbo. The sticking point right now has been actually getting hold of an ESC that's going to work. I've been in contact with a few companies going back and forth, even tried to make a purchase from one, but that's a whole nother issue. Uh, but towards that end, I decided, you know what? I took advantage of uh, special pricing for Black Friday for what I believe is probably the cheapest, most effective, and easiest uh, source if you're starting with an electric turbine. Now let me give the disclaimer, electric turbines are dangerous. This is not a how-to guide. If you choose to do this, you're doing it at your own risk. You could die, you could chop your fingers off, you could horrible things could happen. So there's a disclaimer. It's on you. Anyway, so the best thing to start with, even though we're calling this an electric turbine, really it's an electric supercharger. A lot of people have uh, pointed out, and that's and that's true. The reason why I'm calling it an electric turbo is, well, frankly, that's what people search for. You're better off actually starting with a supercharger than you are with a turbo. As you probably know if you've seen my other videos, my electric turbo is actually based on a Vortec. It started out as a Vortec SC trim, and now it's been upgraded to uh, an SI trim with a billet impeller, so, and it works well, right? But if you don't have access to one, this can become kind of an expensive process. So there's a company called Speedmaster that makes basically what amounts to a knockoff Vortec SI trim that doesn't have a gear drive built into it. And the price is certainly right. You know, you can get them for around 600 bucks or so. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. But uh, if you if you choose to buy one. But the reason why you want to go with a supercharger as opposed to a turbocharger is simply because with a turbo you'd have to find one with a relatively large impeller. Our limit, our RPM limit is basically 50,000 RPM with current motors that are available. Uh, you know, and a lot of turbos like to spin well north of 100,000 RPM, whereas a supercharger likes to stay right around 50,000 RPM. Now, we haven't hit 50,000 RPM yet. We've, we've been actually around 30,000 RPM, actually just slightly under, to be honest. But there's a new motor on its way, one that uh, more than doubles the power of the existing motor, plus gives us another 10,000 RPM. So towards that end, let us unbox the Speedmaster P2 which I believe this is the cheapest, most effective, most universally compatible. This will cover engines everything from 200 to 700 horsepower, right? So it's a really broad spectrum. It's pretty much the cheapest way going. I haven't opened this thing up. It arrived a couple days ago. Uh, it's been sitting here. Don't let this tape fool you. I have not actually, somebody, I guess they opened it up to check it, I suppose. But, you know, the stickers here, I haven't cut it open. So let's cut it open together. All right, we have, well, that may be why they opened it, a Speedmaster bag. What's in it? Oh, a Speedmaster set of stickers. <laughs> Looks like they're going to be knocking off Power Glide. Two speed, oh no, they're, it's going to be a gear vendors unit type of thing. Now, I generally frown on these things. However, Vortec has been, shall we say, less than supportive of this whole situation so in this case it doesn't bother me so much like it normally would so let's get into this thing let's take a look at it so basically there's a billet back plate this is a bearing hub this doesn't have a gear drive which makes it even better for our purposes let's take her out there's the volute looks good it's a, it's a polished unit but you know this kind of polishing as well Probably just to cover things up. Let's take a close look at the uh, the impeller. The impeller certainly looks great, actually. You know, clearances are pretty tight. I can stick a feeler gauge in there, but it's comparable to what the Vortex setup is. In fact, all of this is is almost identical to the Vortex deal. Now, why is this a better unit to start with than, say, actually a Vortex blower? Well, simply because of this part little dark in there 
but this is meant to be driven with a timing type belt. So that is actually milled into the shaft. It's running on bearings that are more than adequate because we don't have any side loads. So this is basically it. This is really what you want to start with. Now you can direct drive it. Uh, there's a number of ways to modify this. Or what I'm going to try first is I'm going to try using a timing belt type of thing and uh, mount the motor offset to the side because that's going to allow for the, the shallowest install distance. So there you go. This is what a Speedmaster P2 looks like. You have an idea. I have some fairly big hands. You know what they say about big hands, right? Uh, some <laughs> fairly big hands. There's a bit of a scratch right there. I don't care. Uh, you know, all this is going to get really modified anyway. But this is ideal. Like, you couldn't ask for a better starting point than this. So, again, if you want to buy one for yourself, the link is in the description below. This is the Speedmaster P2, a.k.a. Vortec knockoff. Vortec SI trim knockoff. With a billet backplate, tons of mounting hole options here. I mean, this is a really, really, really good starting point. So there's a lot of stuff coming. I got a bunch of products uh, to review that companies have just started sending me stuff. I'm like, okay, well, I'll check them out. Uh, and uh, obviously, the extra turbo stuff is coming. So don't you worry. It's on its way. And like I said, there is some fairly big life changes heading my way. My job as a single full-time dad is almost done. So uh, once the child is off to college, Daddy gets to play some more. So we're going to definitely pick up our uh, pace as far as videos go. Our production value is going to go up, kind of comparable to what you saw in the first turbo drag strip test. Uh, and I expect to be putting those out, you know, every couple of weeks. But there's still a few things. It's going to be a little bit before we get to that. But it's definitely on the horizon. So definitely, if you haven't, subscribe, hit the like button, and I will catch you all on the next one.